Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. Listen to me, the perfect kiss moment will never come. Stop before the stress kicks in. When you stop looking for the perfect moment, then it will come. This brings me back to a story where I was in Belgrade, Serbia. I was on a date with this really pretty girl and I was so interested in her. And as we're sitting there, everything is going well. I'm sitting close and she feels okay with me touching her because I'm you know, starting to go through the process of letting her know that I like her. Then, towards the end, I started to feel like, you know what, when is the moment that I wanna kiss her? Should I kiss her now? Should I kiss her later? And I just really didn't know, but I decided to do something that was like this movie style moment type of kiss. So in the end, we're saying bye-bye to each other and we walk away. Then I go, you know what? I'm gonna run back, I'm gonna stop her, and I'm just gonna kiss her. I literally thought that this was gonna work, so I went and did it. I ran back and I stopped her and she's like, yeah? And I just went in for the kiss and she was like. And in that moment, I knew that fuck. This shit don't actually work. This is because I was always doing what most people do, what most guys do. They're always waiting for this perfect moment that the kiss will happen. They're like, you know what? I want the first kiss to be perfect. Excuse me. And I felt the same way. I had so many instances where it was like there and I'm like, when should I do it? And I'm stressing myself out continuously while I'm there with the girl about when should I kiss her. And it never happened in the way that I thought it was gonna happen. And if it did, it was because I prepared for that moment. I started to see times where I would be walking down the street with a woman and I'd be on a date and thinking ahead, I would go, okay, I won't kiss her right here, but I'll wait for us to get by the river or I'll wait for us to get to the second location. And when I'm there, I know it'll be perfect. The, the scene will be great, the, the music will be like this, and that'll be the perfect location to do it. So what would happen? I would arrive to the place, and then stress will kick in immediately. I would start to go through, okay, now we're in the place, now we're close, now we're, we're talking to each other. When is the moment for it to happen now? And I used to be very, very rigid about it. And all of my rigidity just taught me something that's very valuable. The perfect moment for the kiss will never come at the time that I think it will come. And if it does come at the time I think it will come, it will be not spontaneous. This is what makes it amazing when you're there with a woman, is that the first time you kiss her, it's out of, a spont it's out of spontaneity. It is not out of this prepared, structured rigidity. And I thought it was. I thought it was, you know what? I need to be prepared for this. I need to have this moment be great. I need to be thinking already ahead what it'll be. And doing that time and time and time and time, I just came to that it's gonna have to just be spontaneous. It's gonna have to be. It was a girl that I was on a date with, and this girl taught me so much about the first kiss, like so much. After this, I learned that a girl will be ready at the time she'll be ready, but it's important for you to go for it when you wanna go for it. We're together and she's really my type. She is very different and she likes to actually crack the bones open of, of dead animals and take the bones and use it as jewelry and stuff. I really liked that because it was like very different for me. But um, getting into when we're together, so we're in the bedroom and we're in front of each other. And as we're in front of each other, what I can tell is, is that in this moment, I can feel very strongly that I want to kiss her. And because of so many times of me trying to be rigid and trying to be structured about when I'm gonna kiss, I decided to, in the moment that I feel it, I'm gonna go for it. That's what I decided to do, just like 
I'm going to stop doing what I was doing before and I'm just going to go for the kiss when I feel like I want to go for the kiss. I'm just going to let it be spontaneous and I don't care how I feel about it because I was trying to get away from the feelings of this is weird or this is not the right time or... I'm scared. I was trying to get away from all these things and just trying to be rigid about it. But this time I went, you know what? I'm gonna be spontaneous about it and I'm gonna go for it when I feel it. Because this is the actual time that I know I should go for it. And I decided to. As she's in front of me, I can feel in this moment that I wanna kiss her. And when the feelings are at its peak, which means when I'm the most scared, I'm the most nervous, I go in for the kiss and she turns her head like this. And then when I pull back, she just looks at me. She just stares at me. I hold it for a moment while my heart's racing. It's racing. And then we continue on talking. I try again later on at the bus stop. She doesn't do it. And at this point, I feel like, okay, at some, some, at some point she'll do it again. I see her again for the second date. I do it again. She turns her head. At this point, I've went, it, I went for it so many times that I'm not even afraid anymore. And this is something I'm gonna tell you about later. At the time, everybody left the house and left me and her alone. We started to have sex. After sex, we still haven't kissed. <laughs> you gotta realize, we've had sex, but we still haven't kissed yet. She still haven't done it, she wouldn't. Then the next morning, I'm laying there, and she just leans in and kisses me. That whole journey of that taught me so much about it because I was only going for it in the moments I wanted to, and she wasn't, letting me do it, but at the same time, she was staying around with me. All the way to after sex. But what does it teach you, though? This teaches you that you should go for it when you feel it, and don't wait for the moment that you want to, that you feel that it should happen. And when you do it like that, even if the girl doesn't receive it, if she stays around, that still gives you a good sign. So the first part, go for it when you feel it. There's times where you'll be in front of a woman, you're on a date, and she wants you to kiss her. She does. And you may feel in that moment, okay, this is the moment. I can feel it. She's giving me the signs. I should go for it right now. I'm telling you right now, no, you shouldn't. Do not go for it in the moment that she wants you to. Go for it in the moment that you want to go for it. Because if you're, going to, if you're going for the kiss in the moment that she wants you to, you're not aligned with a desire. You're just doing it out of reaction. You're like, okay, oh, fuck. I can feel that she wants it right now. I better do it before I lose the window. And so many guys talk about the window of opportunity that you have. You need to take it before it closes. And I go, no. The only thing you need to do is to be aware of the window of opportunity. That's it. But you go for it when you want to go for it. I have went for it at times where I knew that the girl wanted it. And I knew that I was like, all right, well, I guess she wants it, so I'm going to do it. And I wasn't as into it like the times when I went for it when I wanted to. There was another girl I was on a date with, and as I'm on a date with her, I can feel that, okay, she wants to be kissed right now. I can feel that. But I hold out and hold out and hold out because I want to feel this. I want to feel it at the time that I want to feel it because when she gets me kissing her from the place that I want to kiss her, she's going to feel different about the kiss. But if I kiss her at the time that she wants to be kissed and I don't actually feel like I want to in that moment, then she won't be getting anything from it like she would if she waited for me. 
Sometimes you gotta realize that a woman may even be ahead of the, uh, the wheel. She may be like, oh, he needs to just kiss me now. But she may be totally disconnected from the fact of what true desire feels like when a man does it. Yeah, it's great for her to give the man opportunity. That's great because the man needs to be aware of that. When he's aware of that, he's gonna be able to go, okay, do I actually feel like I want to in this moment? Because this is the most important part about it, is if he feels like doing it in that moment. Don't get me wrong, there'll be times where you will be wanting to do it and she will want it, but at the same time, she won't show the sign. That'll be times too, but then, and then at some point she may go, oh, or have that attitude like that, what a woman does when you don't go for the kiss. Yeah, that may be there. And when it's there, just see it and just notice that, okay, she have been wanting to be kissed, but she wasn't giving any clear signs. That's the only thing to look at in that moment. What can this teach you though? This can teach you that the time is never ever perfect. The time is never ever the perfect time when you are preparing. It'll never be the perfect time. There's some insight I must give you right now though when you're just starting out. When you're just starting out, you will feel like it is forced. You'll feel like you are preparing. And I must tell you, this is okay. This is definitely okay for you to just start out and feel like, this fucking be in front of the camera, but for you to feel like, um, okay, I wanna do it, I, I'm not doing it on my other dates, and I feel like this date, I kinda wanna go for it, that's okay when you're first starting out. You need to go through that process because it's new to you. It's going to be conscious competence. I think some guys, they try to make it seem like when you go for the first kiss, it shouldn't be so hard. They make it seem like it's so easy. Like it's just so easy for that first one. Or you like after you do the first one, then the next girls you see, it'll be even easier. Yes, it will be, but I must tell you this. When you don't have a lot of experience, it will always be a situation that's scary for you. It will always be that. When I was first going out and I was starting out going on dates, of course the, the situation was very, very scary for me. It was. The reason why it was scary for me was because it was new for me. <clears throat> I wasn't used to having so many dates in a row. I wasn't used to meeting a girl and immediately having a, the having a chance to kiss her. I wasn't used to that. I was used to, of course, at time, I would have women in my life, but I wasn't used to the process of meeting a girl I didn't know on the street, then going on a date location and going to kiss her. I wasn't used to that process. And that's the same thing with if a guy is just starting out. I don't know if you're starting out, but you won't be used to that process. And it's okay for you to feel nervous. It's okay for you to feel like I'm being a little bit rigid about this. That's totally fine because it's the beginning. Nobody's ever really great in the beginning, nobody. The way I am now is very different than before. Before I would just be thinking about the first kiss, that's it. And that sounds like many of the guys that I coach when they go, you know man, I was just, you know, I just was there and I didn't go for the kiss and, and I felt like I was stupid for doing that and you know, the girl, I knew she wanted to be kissed and you know, I wanted to kiss her but I was just afraid that maybe she'll reject me. And I go, man, you have to understand that that situation is okay that you didn't go for it. It's not bad that you didn't go for it, but it's not helpful for you either. You do know that you do want her. You do know that. But for you to let your fear outweigh your desire in that moment, that's the thing that's going to hurt you. That's the thing that's going to not help you. Because the fact that the fear is there, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with the fear being there. It's totally fine that it's there. Let the fear be there with you. But let your desire outweigh your fear in that moment. If you're feeling in that moment, maybe you're on a date and you're in a situation and you feel like, fuck man, I feel so weird about this. What I want you to do is that I don't want you to go up in your head and start to think about it. 
Why don't you just remain present to her and continuously look at her, continuously stay there? Because the impulse is to just turn away from the moment. And that's what many guys do. They turn away from the moment and then they go, you know, they, they, they first they're there with the girl and then they're, they start looking straight and then they, this is turning away from the moment, so to speak. And they're starting to think about, okay, you know what, maybe I should do it now, maybe I should do it later. And when they're in this mode, the girl can feel like, okay, there's something going on with this guy. Or maybe they're not in that mode and they're just trying to just nervously talk because they know they want to go for the kiss, but they're trying to break the tension continuously. This is when now it's not being helpful for you because now you're finding ways to turn away from the moment instead of just staying with the moment. So let's say that you're in front of that girl and you know that you do want to kiss her and you're feeling nervous. I would say stay with the moment. Don't turn away. Don't start to like get up in your head and start to think about, okay, should it become now? Like, should I do it now? Or maybe she wants to be kissed and, and this. This is now turning away from the moment. And many, and many of the times when you turn away from the moment, your body, turn, your body goes with it. So you start to go like this and you're looking around and you're not really being present to her anymore. This is now the moment where you really will feel like you're, okay, I'm, uh, I need to not be in my head. I need to be more in the moment. And now you start to go into freak out. And then you start to ask more questions so that you don't have to deal with the feelings that's there. And that's why I talk so much about awareness. This is why. Because when you have awareness as the base, you can now be able to sit in the feelings that arise. The turn away is not an option anymore when you're in awareness. You just see, okay, this is happening. Now I'm in front of this girl. I know that I want to kiss her. Now I have a choice in this moment. Because my fear is here, but also at the time, simultaneously, I know that I want this. And in that moment, you have the choice to give in to one or the other. That's the great thing when you have awareness is that now you can, you're the outside looking in and you can choose which direction you want to go in the moment. Let's even right now, like, let's say that right now I'm really cold, by the way. I can choose to give in to, okay, right now I'm really cold and I want to leave and go get my sweater. Or I could choose to be here and with you and continue it. Even though I'm feeling all this cold right now. It's the same thing. It's just as you're aware, you now have the choice. You're not reacting constantly. You're in front of the woman and you can feel that there's an avenue that I can go right now. I can go for the kiss or I can go, I can go with my fear. And I would say in this moment, you need to connect to what is going to be more helpful for you and where you want to get to. You don't want to get to a place where you're always saying no to yourself when you're in front of a woman. Because as you build that thread, that thread gets stronger and it continue on through the interaction. And it continue, continue on through your life. And this is why you've gotten the results that you've gotten. It's just simply because you've given in to one direction over the other. But the moment you shift gears and you go, okay, I'm gonna give in to the direction of going for what I want, even though I do feel the other direction is there and it's, and it's making me wanna go that way, now a different outcome can happen. A different outcome that you actually want though. Maybe it doesn't mean that you will get the kiss or you will get the woman. It just means that you're moving in the direction that you know you wanna go. That's what it means. And that's all you really wanna do. You only ever want to continuously take the necessary actions in the direction that you need to go. And as your desire pops up, your desire always leads you in a direction that you know you want to go. That's gonna be the difference for you. The perfect moment won't come for you. It won't. It never came for me. Now is at the point now where I used to try to do that, be very rigid, and then I was go, okay, I'm just gonna let myself feel all these feelings. And then it went to, okay, in this moment, when I feel it, I'm gonna do it. And then it became very spontaneous for me. Where even to the point where I was, I remember I was walking with a girl down the street and it was like, we were like in, in the silence at the time. And if you guys notice, I'm someone that holds silence very strongly when I'm with women simply because I know that I love being in silence and I know that when we're in silence, we can really be ourselves. 
So I'm walking down the street and then at some random moment, I stop her when we're in silence by the arm and I just go in and I kiss her. Like a moment that was just totally out of the blue, but it was the most spontaneous thing for me in that moment and it's when I actually felt it. And when you actually feel it, they may be in many different types of ways too. I remember when I was with a girl and she was in my bedroom and we didn't kiss first, I had a scarf on at the time and I just threw my scarf around her neck and I pulled her in and that's how I kissed her. But it became very much an experience of spontaneity. That's the difference for it. And every experience of spontaneity is always an element of the unknown in it. The reason why we want the perfect kiss moment is because we want the known. We want the known of, okay, this is the perfect moment. That perfect moment will never come in a way that you're thinking. It will only come when you allow it to come, which means that when you shift the gears and you just wait for the moment, you actually feel it. And like I said, if you're just starting out, of course, it'll be conscious competence. It will. So some of that resonates with you and some of that won't resonate with you. And that's okay for now. But you want to get to the point eventually where it completely resonates with you, where spontaneity has taken over rigidity. And the rigidity a lot of times is the conscious competence, which means that, okay, I got to do it right now. Okay, I got to touch right here. Okay, this is have to happen in this moment for this to happen. And then this will happen. That's the difference for you guys. I don't know if you know this, but my New York City tickets for my seminar are available now. They are available. And you can go to the description box and click the link. And from there, you'll find out all about it, but it's the first of its kind. In the meantime, I want you to subscribe and tell anybody about this that you feel that it'll help. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. This is Tony Solo saying I'll see you guys tomorrow.